Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. And our live game is Juventus against Lazio. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. We're underway. Jorginho plays it out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. Up he gets! Goal! Juventus! The breakthrough strike! Juventus go ahead. One goal to the good. Beautifully done. He'll have a dip! Sticks it away! All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Juventus grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Oh, and they are rampant. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Juventus take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. Goes wide. Eder heads it! He has done it! And they are disappearing out of sight. Juventus. Owen! In for the follow up, and he's poked it home! And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue. Well, I would think this one is possibly over as a contest. They know they've already reached cruise control and it's a case of the right game management to take it from here. Juventus dishing out what has been nothing short of an absolute mauling. The game is surely already in the bag, but there is plenty for the boys to talk about during half-time. So we're already into the second period. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. Caceres. And now the breakaway. He's got away. It's Insignia! Caceres tries to get it forward quickly. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Stefan de Vrij. Garay does well there. Alert. Looks to clip it forward. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could have. Can he put it away? It's a goal! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. Juventus get a goal yet again at a time when they almost always seem to get on the front foot. This defence just doesn't. Shapes to shoot. Oh, he really got hold of that. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Out for a throw. Littmanen. Owen tries a throw. Shapes the shoots. Oh, terrific save. In with a header. Aimed low and direct. And there goes the final whistle. Juventus, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Juventus were very impressive here, Peter. The backbone of this...
It is the occasion when we discover the identity of those who will contest the big one. This for a place in the final of the UEFA Champions League. So it's away we go then. Juventus are back home having earned a lead in the away leg. And they seem to have one foot... Oh, in! Keeper's not concerned by that. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot. And it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Gets it back. Garay. Adair with a delicate ball. Oh, in! Goal! Juventus! Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Uh, needed a better pass there. Shevchenko. Czech gets it upfield. Juan Mata. Out to the left it goes. He's got away. Oh, he's not going to get that. And it's Dybala. Pjanic gets it, and now what? Now he's had a shot! It's there! And they are disappearing out! And the semi final reaches halfway. See so your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Juventus go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And the second half gets on the way. Tries to... Great leap! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. His anticipation... Oh, in! And out to safety. Dybala. Looks like a good ball through. It's a brilliant interception. Hits one! Chooses to go. He's had a shot! This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Tries a through ball. Owen plays it out to the wing. Dibar. Gets up to head it. They are rampant. And they are pulling clear here. Aimed wide. But he'd have done well to reach that. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Owen! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Another corner, then. Get that clear. Get a throw in. Aquilani. And it's Dybala. Shapes the shoots. Saved only by poor finishing. the final whistle Juventus booked their precious ticket to the final your final thoughts Jim yeah they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away from the trophy now
So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And here we have Chievo against Juventus. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his infra header. There it is! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Juventus take the early advantage. Juventus are the most prolific team in the league this season. It's got Owen! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling and fast. Deftly done. And that's been won straight back. Insigne floats one over. Yeah, he's fouled him there. It is a corner, good chance. Juventus are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Well, they held on to it for far too long there and they've allowed the defence the chance to close them down. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking, no one's afraid to have a go. Juventus come in, having established that lead, a game where the narrative hits one! He has done it! A two goal! 
goal cushioned and it's looking safe. Juventus grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal is... He's had a go! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Pings it out wide. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Aquilani. Kievo have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Up he gets! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the center of a lot of things, hasn't he? Um, mostly good, I should add. And a shot! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Juventus simply imposed their strength. So it comes down to this, just two teams. Which one? Which one? And here we have Napoli against Juventus. So just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and, and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Florenzi, timely intervention. He's had a shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Ball's loose, who's getting yeah, that's there? that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's having a look round. Great tackle, he had to get that right. He'll have a dip! Has a shot! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And it's Florenzi. Florenzi with a beautifully timed run. Mertens. Shaw. Now it's Murray. Owen. Defending was physical. Shoots! Goal! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another... Whistle's gone. And we've reached the halfway point of the final. So there you have it. A close fought half of football. But one that still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. So we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Juventus have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time. Juventus. Can he finish? Hamshik 
gets it back. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. Shoots! Sticks it away! And this is getting better and better. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that. And the shot! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And surely that settles it. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Out to the flank. Merton. Hits one! Outstanding save to keep that out. And he just whacks it away. Maggio. Mascherano knocks it away. And the referee brings it to a close. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Juventus against Udinese. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Udinese have the look of dead men walking here. To avoid relegation, not only must they win, but they're looking for favours from other teams. It is out of their hands and bleak. Owen! Juventus were imperious when the two sides last met, and the fans are asking for more of the same. Adair tries a through ball, shapes the shoot. Goal, Juventus! Juventus take the lead. Listen, when it comes... Can he finish? Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence and it could well be revisited, this. And it's Adair. Shots on! And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football. But what well, still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Juventus head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Insignia with a shot! Really well taken goal! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. And the finish! And more, and more, and more. And the lead is extended still further. Juventus take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Going through. Plays it out to the wing. Crosses it in low. Well, to be honest, I think they're all show and no substance. Where's the final product? And a header! 
Barami. So that's it. It is all over. So victory on the final day. So hello and welcome to you from this most iconic of venues. It really is the ultimate stage befitting the ultimate fixture. The final gets on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertained. The shot's on! Goal! We have liftoff at the final! The big star! The perfect start! Oh, what an opening! An absolutely fantastic opening to this final and we shouldn't be surprised that it's a player with a terrific track record to come at the air, come at the man. I think we've got lift off. Well, 
Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Juventus take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Looks to slip it through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Owen. Now the pass. He's gone for it! Oh, taken with style! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Juventus take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Coutinho, and he's made certain that won't get through. Lepied. It's Dybala. Owen! And they are disappearing out of sight. Juventus are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. without reply this is becoming a stroll now it's Dybala Philippe Coutinho now it's Luis Suarez well there's a lot of movement out wide now yeah you can certainly see that well I think it's a move to open the game up more whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Well, it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half-time, but I sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Hits one! And in it goes! Results no longer in doubt! It's just about how many! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Juventus totally rampant here. That could spell trouble. Dybala. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. Owen! He's put it wide. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Well, 
offside, a bit lacking in it. Going for goal! He's had a shot! Forward it goes. Darren Fletcher, Coutinho, looking up to see who wants it. Now it's Luis Suarez. So not long left in this now. Just a few mo... Rooney! No mistake! And still they continue with the onslaught. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Juventus tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Aim long and direct, and here's the chance to counter. And there goes the final whistle.
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter. Hello everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Tries a through ball and the finish! In comes the corner. Zidane. Dybala has got himself a free kick. The referee's awarded a free kick. Keeper's got good distance on that. Now the pass. Passes it through. Surely. And the header. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? And the finish. Goal. Juventus. Juventus break the deadlock. Well, just listen. To goes for goal. He scores. Well, it's certainly livened things up a bit. And that next goal now is absolutely crucial. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. It's come loose. Whip towering header. There it is. And there's the end of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Juventus leading by... Shot a goal! And that really should have hit the net. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Fabinho, who does have an assist to his name. Now it's Neymar. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Can he finish? He scored! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Juventus go two up and into a position of real strength. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. Played out to the wing. Aquilani. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Demanding a quick ball here. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Looks like a good ball through. Dybala. Figo. Owen. Looks to slip it. And Dybala! Oh, surely that is a... And the referee brings it to a close. Juventus claim victory here and on balance they were worth it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Juventus really approached this game with clear intent, Peter, and a, a training ground plot was turned into a very good success. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.
Well, games like this feel like a throwback to the days of the one-club career. Not so much a match, more a celebration of a man who has given so much to this game. For him and his footballing journey, the final whistle here is indeed, sadly, absolutely final. The action has already started. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I'd say Petr Cech. I'm trying to come up with a, a flaw in his game and... Owen! Goal! Juventus! And it's Juventus who take the lead. Juventus go ahead. One goal to the good. Dinks one in. It's Ada! That is brilliant from Ada! Hot knife through butter. They have... Owen! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That was created. He's had a go! They are rampant! And already, then, can he put it away? He's kicked it out just. Tries to get it forward quickly. Prashito. And it's Adair. Adair. Is it in? And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, and you can feel... A... And it's half-time here. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. So, 45... In with a header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Littman. Oh, sweet feet. So what now? It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Now it's Giroud. Mascherano sends it forward with interest. Dybala played out to the wing. Pinged forward. Gomez. And it's Gomez. Could move up a gear here. Out to the left it goes. Owen! It's in! And again, they pile on the misery. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their shot at goal. And that's past the post. Modric plays it out to the flank. Fekir. There goes the final whistle. Well, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? One-sided and only one winner, Peter. The players didn't show enough.